Before I get too far ahead of myself, level-wise, and with all of the fittings of the clubs, all of that, I want to give you all a look at what the baseline archetypes look like compared to each other. Now, what we are going to do in order for me to show that to you is I'm going to go out to TPC Scottsdale. I'm going to play just two holes with the powerhouse, which is what I'm using now. Just because we've seen a lot of the powerhouse, because that's what I've been doing ever since I loaded up the game. So I'm going to do the first two holes in powerhouse. The next four holes, I'm going to do in another archetype. The next four holes, I'm going to do in another archetype. And so forth, so, so on until we get to the end of the round. So we'll play a full 18 at TPC Scottsdale, looking at all five archetypes that are in the game. Just so you can see what the baseline looks like compared to all of them. Now we're going to be playing on master swing difficulty and I am going to turn on the trajectory for the shot shaping and also the power meter just so you can see the differences between those. So to start it off we will be starting on the powerhouse. These are the base stats. I have no fittings on any of my clubs. I do have some of the the skills. I don't want to reset them because it's kind of expensive. At least for me right now, I have no credits, but we're starting in the powerhouse. Zero fittings whatsoever. We're just going to go out and play a stock few holes, which with each of these archetypes that you see here. But we will start with the powerhouse. All right, so here we are at Scottsdale. You'll see on the left the uh, power bar, the uh, white for the power bar. That's your perfect zone. We have our accuracy over here as well. This is all on master. Uh, just to look at the shot shaping, you can still you can still do you can do quite a bit shot shaping. If you go all the way out, though, it definitely just eats your accuracy and your timing window up quite a bit, but still manageable. So let's play a couple holes. So I can show you all, uh, you know, what the differences are. I actually haven't even played any of the other archetypes yet, so this will be a learning experience for all of us. We started off pretty well, though. That's for sure. Let's see if we can put this up here nice and close. Now we slowed the hell out of it. That's going to be short. Way short. All right, we're chipping. Also, you're going to want to ignore the scores that you're about to see. People don't forget. Because uh, what I'm going to have to end up doing is skipping holes to get to the next hole that we start at. So <laughs> scores are going to scores are going to balloon a little bit. Man, look at that. Look at that timing window for power. That is tiny. Oh, my God. Look at this ball go. It's gone. And it's gone. Dude, the balls roll out so much on chips. So much. Coming back up the hill probably won't be so bad. <laughs> Almost made it. Almost made it. There's our putting window too, and you can see. Look at the size of that perfect timing. Or not perfect timing, but perfect power for the putt. Oh, that's not much. That is not much at all. I haven't I haven't even had the power bar on yet. Honestly, I turned it off instantly, kind of put myself on the same settings I used in 2K21, so it's interesting to see this stuff. All right, this is the last hole for the powerhouse. Oof, yucky. Also, after a little bit more testing too, I have found they have recorded for almost all of them, I believe. Different sounds for the clubs. Drivers and woods, at least. Um, some of the irons do sound a little bit different, but I just don't have a lot of them yet, so I, I'm unable to test them a bit. But I have a few drivers already, and uh, every single one of the drivers sounds different that I've used. If that equates to all of the drivers that they have, what a great addition to actual sound quality that is. All right, we pulled perfect. Pulled it a little bit, but... Oh, I came out clean. 
that came out very clean. Look at that ball roll down that slight hill there. All right. Let's see if we can get this up here at least nice and close. We can. All right. We go out for our second hole with a uh, par here with the powerhouse. Next up, we have the Greensman. So we're going to have a lot less power, but we are going to have the putt path and putt weight. We will not be able to shot shape as much, so we'll see what that looks like. Uh, and it seems, yes, swing path is a little bit, a little bit better with this. Timing's a little bit better as well. But their transition speed, so the actual power, is a little bit worse. So, let's go out and uh, let's check out the Huntsman. Let's see what the difference is between the two. All right, so here we are. On hole number three, we have a par five for one of the least amount of power archetypes that we have. Uh, the driver is considerably different. And yeah, when you look at the shot shaping, that is so much worse. Okay, that is interesting. Uh, accuracy line does look a touch better. Uh, the big thing will be once we get on the green, though. We got ourselves a perfect, though. Take that. We'll definitely take that. The power timing window should be a little bit smaller, which it kind of looks like it might be. Not having that additional power here. Probably just take a straight five wood in and hopefully go to good bounce. This has got to be perfect. Slight slow. That might be enough to kill it. Nope, that's gonna. Well, this might be actually be really good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. All right, let's see what the putting... Oh, the line's so much bigger. I don't know if the putting power, though, is it? Maybe the maybe the gray's a little bit bigger? The gray region? I don't know. The line definitely looks a little bit bigger, though. I'd have to see... I'll have to wait and see it side by side, but... Maybe the gray region's a little bit bigger, too. Oh my gosh, we ended up lipping that to the left. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You definitely, I mean, you definitely lose the power. That's the big thing. The shot shaping, when you shot shape, it actually, it really eats up your accuracy and your tempo a lot more than the powerhouse did. But I am hitting perfects. I, that probably has nothing to do with the actual archetype and more just me, but, uh... Are you uh, kidding me? So, what are you talking about? That sure feels great. Stock, too? I think these are medium fast greens. Putts are slippery down the slope. See? Look how slippery that is. That's, these things run. Also on master, man, getting that power, getting that power right. Woo. Woo. Tough. It's very, very tough. Now we're taking the driver off here. Tell you what, the putting's a lot easier. A lot easier. When you have that power bar up there. A ton easier. Started off good. Nice little drive there. Let's see if we can get this up close. Ah, Gray slowed again. Didn't get punished as much, though. It didn't seem like, at least. Uh, we're in a chipping. We are in a chipping region. My Achilles heel right now. That's better. Okay. So you have to be very, very smooth 
So uh, I've been trying to work on my on the partials to to figure out how to get that tempo. It's just you have to you have to know where the power is that you want, and it, it literally just has to be smooth. I don't think that you can pull it back really slow because you're just always going to get very fast or fast. But that was a little bit better. I'm striping the ball a lot better, though. That feels good. All right, we have a second shot in. We are... 115 away, and we want to try to get this nice and close for our last putt with the Greensman. I slow it, but that will be nice. Good. Very, very good. All right, let's bury this last putt here. It's a toughie. This is no gimme. But we bury it. Here we are. With the Greensman, we finished two under. All right. Not actually not bad at all. On to the next. All right. Next up, we have the Rhythm Archetyped. And it is the one, I believe, least amount of power. Yep. This has the least amount of power, but the timing and the swing path is the greatest out of all of them. So... Comparatively to like the Greensman, like the Greensman had the putting and the putt weight and then just kind of even for the rest. Rhythm is really skewed towards getting the timing, the swing path down. Gives you a little bit of putt weight and uh, a putt path. Little bit better on line range shape and, and transition too. But overall, this is just to get you as a base more towards the accuracy and the tempo side. So let's go out and give Rhythm a go for four holes. So here we are, hole number seven. Shot shaping again. Pretty minimal. Pretty minimal comparatively. Accuracy line is a lot better. Uh, timing windows is a little bit bigger. Power timing windows is a little bit bigger too, uh, which is going to be the big thing. And also one thing to remember, this is just the base. So starting at a higher timing window and uh, a better accuracy, when you actually fit the clubs with those things, you'll be able to boost those quite a ways so that is definitely something to keep in mind as well but for a base you do see you do see some differences as far as distance yeah we lose what do we lose four i think four yards off our driver with this so it's like every one point is about a yard for distance somewhere in there Let's see how it plays though So far, the Greensman has uh, been the winner. Two under. Might have been able to get there with uh, a powerhouse. Probably not, but... So far, it is the winner. All right, these are slippery. Yeah, putting window's a little bit smaller. The line is definitely smaller. The accuracy line. Oh, gosh, come on. Need to bury those. Yeah, the accuracy line is definitely smaller. I think I am going to miss the big boy driver off uh, the T2. Again, with fittings, I just I think there's going to be a nice balance. I think there's going to be a nice balance, especially at the higher difficulties. Yeah, look at what that line becomes when we try to shot shape at all. <laughs> Striping the ball, though. Bet the wind didn't carry it like I wanted to. Does it find a hill here? Uh, it tried not quite steep enough surprisingly i'm actually very surprised that didn't come back because i have been finding yellow slopes the ball 
skates out a lot more from these hills, which is great because the greens became way too sticky in 2K21. Look at that thing run, though. So fast. Downhill putts, fast. We're one under, though, with rhythm. That is a lot of distance you lose off the drive comparatively to something like the powerhouse. Tempo isn't affected as much, though. Accuracy is definitely better. That will definitely help. Keep you on the fairway, at least. Especially if it's something you're struggling with. This should find its way back because that's slow. It did. And it sticks. Nice. That's what she said. Oh, this is not a gimme. That is a tough putt. Oh, we get it, though. Here we are. Two under with the rhythm. We have a chance to take the lead for this archetype. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> we have a chance. Let's do that. You know, you can't shot shape it as much, but you do not lose as much distance, too. You can kind of get more of, like, power fade power draws on here because you don't lose as much distance. At least not with the driver this year. That might be something I'm, I may need to take a look at, too, comparatively to 2K21. Because you can actually keep your distance off the drive, which is, I mean, kind of how it is, too. You know, in, in, in real life, because you can you can definitely you put a little, you know, a little baby fade, a little baby draw on it. Sometimes it even gives you a little bit more distance, too. So that might be something I have to check out. Oh, we're coming out of the bunker. Oh, this has got to sit a ton. Oh, it does. Just barely. Rolls out a bit. See, like that. Like those yellow slopes. Like it. That's what they've been doing. They haven't been holding as much. All right. Here we go. To take the lead against all of the archetypes so far. We have rhythm. Missing it wide right. All right. Not bad, though. This one was definitely... This one felt the best, I would say, for tempo and, and timing and accuracy and all that, for sure. It definitely did. Even if they are subtle differences, they're still differences. Which brings us to the Sculptor. We get some of that power back, but the big thing is the shot shaping. 81. Comparatively to everything else, 73 the Powerhouse has. Woodsman has 76, so not too bad. But you lose a bunch on Putt Path. You get some and you keep you kind of you keep the swing path, which I kind of like actually. But you're dropping everything down, widening it out to swing path, and keeping the same power as oh, I thought it was the same as uh no. This is actually the second most power. Okay. Woodsman has the third most. So this is the second most power. But the big thing is going to be the shot shaping. We get to see uh, what that looks like when we actually go out and try to shot shape some balls. So to 11 we are. If we take a look at it, 285 now on the driver, which is pretty pretty good. That kind of gives us that sweet spot right in between. Shot shaping though? Oh yeah. Look at that bend. Holy cow. The other thing that shot shaping does is it allows you to put more spin on the ball. So we're going to be trying to absolutely spin some balls here. But we'll start with the drive. Yeah, I'm going to try to get some to stop. Hopefully I can get the tempo. Hopefully I can get the tempo on those approach shots because I really want to see what kind of spin we can get on these balls. I have a feeling it's... It's going to be substantial. There's a big, there's a big jump for this, uh, for this build. So let's try. Let's just really 
crank a spin and let's see what happens. We got slight gray fast, but this should still be okay. We should be able to see what the spin looks like, even with the gray fast. <laughs> that thing. <laughs> that thing stops dead in its tracks. Uh, all right. I mean, I definitely created a very hard putt, but there might be something to the shot shaping because you still keep a decent amount of power. I don't know. There might be there might be there might be something to the shot shaping one, especially once you get the fittings going. The putter is very bad though, for sure. I just like how you can visualize all the differences. Oh, this ball's gone. That is so so much roll on these on these greens coming down hills. It is awesome. I mean, part of this is on me for sure. We start with a bogey, but I, I, I want to I wanna test what this build is, you know? Yeah, look at how... So another thing, you know how it really shrank a lot when we did shot shaping? Look at the accuracy in the tempo bar when you do this. Look at that. Hardly anything. Comparatively. Comparatively, hardly anything. You keep about the same tempo and everything, which is really cool. Again... I don't know. There might be something to this build or this archetyped. We perfect it, but I pushed it a little bit. Overall, it just kind of seems like the ball doesn't roll out as much in this one, too. You know what? I'm going to try a partial chip. I'm going to try this. Yeah, this is what I... I don't know if I like this. Watch where we get the power before you even see the, the club move. That's a bit. Like, that is a bit. I think that's something that definitely needs to be maybe tuned a little bit. God, it comes down to that tempo, though. That's what it comes down to. It comes down to that tempo on those partial chips. It's tough. Balls roll out a lot, too, on those partials. All right, par five. We smacked it. Pushed it, but fasted it. With the wind, too. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We can bring a five wood in. Be Neatly, too. And look at the distance you get here. See what happens? What's the worst that can happen? Probably that. Dark gray fast. Well, probably that. <laughs> That's not great. All right, we're gonna be splashing. Splish, splat. Oh my god, we are plugged. Fifty-nine to sixty-nine out of this. Holy cow. That is actually. I think it does, dude. The lie range. I think you do get a better lie range. So instead of 59, 69, I think we might be able to get a better one. I don't know. That's that's something that, that would be so hard to test getting in, but I think that might have something to do with it. Not just that the range is better. Like it shrinks it, so it's only like 64 to 69, but I think that you actually get a better lie coming out of hazards. Damn it. And that putt line for accuracy being so small. <laughs> that kills you. All right, we're one over with this one. I am testing a lot with it, but still. Boom. You know, I do love the new uh, animations they added to actually like twirling club and looking at the ball instead of your character just kind of like standing there awkwardly, like in position. Like they they did a really good job with some of those animations. Also, I saw somebody say that they, they thought that the swing animation was a little robotic. Man, I think comparatively, I think the swing animations look great this year. Honestly. 
I think it became like an actual point of emphasis for this year's game. They look a lot more athletic now, like a ton more. I thought 2K21 looked pretty robotic. I guess that's, at the end of the day, it's probably that's probably a just personal preference, but. Oh, I smashed it. This needs to hit the hole. Oh, boy. <sighs> OK. We didn't completely lose it. That would have been really bad. All right, to finish it off, we got the Woodsman. Let's go see. Let's go see how that stacks up against the rest of them. Finally, we have the Woodsman. So I guess we will be able to see. Maybe I'll test it. Put one into the bunker and just test out the lie range because I'm actually really curious now. Power is the third most. Lie range is above and beyond. Shot shaping actually isn't even bad either. 76 on the shot shaping. Transition. Transition is second best, so that's your power transition. So that's actually not too bad either. The big thing that it takes a hit on, though, is putting. 62 putt path, 60 putt weight, which means our putt path is going to be pretty comparable to the Sculptor, but the power is going to be the worst out of all of them by quite a wide margin. But I'm interested, maybe put one in the bunker and just see what the lie range kind of looks like coming out of the hazards. So to finish it up, we've got the Woodsman for 15, 16, 17, and 18. Let's see how we do. I am definitely not going to try to get cute on this hole, putting it into the bunker. I mean, that's good right there. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Power transition looks pretty similar, I would say. Accuracy is definitely low. I think a five wood gets up there nicely, as long as we get the tempo right. Which we did. This should actually cruise up here real nicely. Get going. Oh yeah, get going, get going, get going, get going. Settle. Here we are. What a shot! That is a golf shot. Are we going for are we going for the woodsman to be the best score? Because he's about to tie it right now. <laughs> Shit! I shouldn't have said anything. Oh no! We suck again! Look at the line though. That line's non-existent. The power meter is non-existent. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. God dang it. Oh, I messed up. Oh, yeah. The iconic. I'm not going to put it into the bunker here either because I want to try to get a hole in one. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Slight fast. Oh. Oh, dude, the crowd sounds good in the bowl. I was wondering if they added like crowd density, if it made the, the crowd like boomier or sound better. Absolutely. I don't like how they're being loud now, but let's see if we can nail this putt home though. It's gonna be tough. Oh, come on. Come on. Now we put one into the bunker. We'll try to put it in over here. That should make it? Oh yeah. We're not as plugged this time, but I'm just curious what the lie range is on this. 70, 83? Yo. Okay, that is something. That might have to, we might have to do a little bit more testing on that because that is a bit 86 out with a pitch. Oh, this ball's gone. Oh my God, it actually got to stop. Okay. Whew. Yeah, I might have to test it out. I think it does give you just better lies. Not just like shrinking it, you know, like making the percentage like more tight i think it just slides the scale over out of the rough out of the sand so instead of like a 56 to 65 you're getting like a 70 to an 82 kind of thing which would be 
Huge. We're on ice. Look at those balls roll out, dude. It's so good. So good. That'd be interesting. My God, dude. Builds might be... Builds might be something. They might be something this year. For this game. I might try to plug plug this one a little bit closer for a splash shot to see what we get. Yeah, I think I might try to plug it up there uh, into that bunker because I'm curious now. Might as well show off the strengths of each build. So let me try to... Let me try to bury it into here. Oh, that's considered rough right now. Stop it. Alright, hang on. We're going on an adventure, everybody. <laughs> We're going on an adventure, okay? Bear with me. Just real quick. Just a real quick adventure. Oh, I actually nailed a perfect there. That should be good. Plug it right in there. 61 to 70. I mean, it it is better. So I think it tightens it, because it's only 9% off. I think it tightens it and actually gives you better lies out of bunkers. Rough. All of the above. That is... That's pretty good. And could be very important. Gosh. The slopes. They are slopes. Well, no shit. Can we drain the putt to end it? Yeah, of course we can't. We knock it in, though. <laughs> For a... <laughs> what was it? 35 over? <laughs> but there's all the archetypes. All in one round. I don't think I'm going to have the time to go in and actually create builds for these, but it is something that I am absolutely going to go into when the game actually launches next month. Because I think that the possibilities for these archetypes with the fittings is limitless. If I get enough coin, though, I might try to at least do another one besides Powerhouse, just trying to build it out a little bit. But for now, hopefully that kind of gives you all an idea of how the different archetypes play compared to each other. If you enjoyed this content and you're interested in some more PGA 2K23 content, don't forget to sub to the channel. Leave a like on it as well if you enjoyed it. It helps the video out, helps the channel out, helps me out, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Comment down below what uh, archetype you are going to be starting with when you get your hands on PGA 2K23. I will be back with more 2K23 content, and I will catch you on the next one.